This playthrough is rated T for teen. Alright, it's time for us to find a way out of here, or multiple different ways. How will Malcolm do it? Well, let's find out today. Greetings and salutations, viewers, while we're back here with another episode of Legend of Kyrandia, Book 3, Malcolm's Revenge. In the last episode, we... I like dumps. Well, that's if you're into that thing. Anyway, last episode, we just went around town, explored stuff, found some silly things to do. At the end of the last episode, I put a squirrel on my head, but I don't want to do that quite yet. But we do want to hypnotize the squirrel, so let's uh, hypnotize him again. Time to hip your guess. Sorry, I did that last episode, so, so I skipped the dialogue for that. So now we have a, a, a hypnotized squirrel on a, on a string. Now, there's two things you can do for, with the hypnotized squirrels. One, you can put it on your head. Or, two, you can use it on something. So let's head off and do that really quick. There's quite a few things we can do today. So, um, all right, let's get back in the teleporter. Now, there's an interesting thing that can happen to the teleporter. I'll try using it regularly just to get it to activate. It's a random occurrence, though, so we'll, it's hard to say. So let me show you one interesting thing you can do uh, with the teleporter. Let me grab this firewood and click it on the inventory er, on the transporter let's send you on a ride that's so fun and now you sent the uh, log into the bluff area which you want to do that for a very specific reason if you're trying to get all the all the points in the game so there's quite a few things we can do so all right let me I think I need this flask for now I might leave the uh, shoe and Permit soft for now, although you can get some extra dialogue from some people when you have those in your inventory. So, alright, let me make a save. Just just make an extra save, doesn't matter. Because I want to keep the squirrel. But, one thing you can do with the squirrel is... Yeah, you can put him in the machine. Let's start the machine. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. What do we make with a squirrel? I wonder if the machine is set up properly. Nope, we didn't set it up properly, so let's try that again, so. But yeah, you have to do something very specific, but you can still use the squirrel for, uh, um, as a inventory I item. Alright, I believe it's down twice. Oh yeah, I, I forgot to mention you can manipulate these, uh, um, uh, yeah. So, manipulate these and t tell which plan you're working on. You click the book and it tells you what you're going to make. So, you can make a ball with this plan. It made the leather ball. Yeah, we turned a poor squirrel into a leather ball. We're, we truly are monsters, aren't we? So, but that's one way to do it. So, which we need some leather balls, by the way. So, um, I think it's if you do. No, maybe it's the. There we go. That's another one we can make well as the horse, which I think you just need a wooden log. So if you ever make a leather ball, you need um, leather of some sort. There's, uh, see, one, two, three, or four. There's four different ways to get leather. And then there's another way to get a lot of balls doing a very specific set of actions. So let me set it into the down position. Okay, so first thing, I want to show off how to get the first way to escape this island. So let's go to um, sesame this place, get some sesame seeds. And then I want to go ahead and, uh, well, do I want to go and do that now? Yeah, might as well. Okay. So as soon as we do this method, we won't be able to hypnotize the squirrel anymore. So we'll basically prevent ourselves from doing this method anymore. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. But you can kind of bind the bus, uh, bent nail with the squirrel or not on a string to create yeah we get macgyver points for that thing but we can create bit my nail on trusty string. fishing equipment all right what's okay well let's go inside the uh here again unlocked it yeah i finally got it to go i guess you have to do it with a, a straight straight nail because i guess if you do it with a bit nail you don't get the points for it or something like that so and you can always if you love it, leave this room this door will always become locked again so, all right. So first of all, we want some water. Loaded with water. And then we want to. Oh yeah. Let's see what happens if we use the water. My trusty fishing equipment. Yeah. Now we can fish. What can we fish for? Well. Great. An eel. Yeah. Now we can. Every time we uh, we can either fish here or in the ocean area, where like the dog is and everything like that, and it'll produce an eel for it. Phew. 
Is this the only type of fish in Kladia? Yeah, I guess so. That's the only thing we can fish for, so. Alright. Crunchy. No. Rickety. Rickety. No. Yeah, I forgot that. Uh, I just love nuts. Should have eaten that stuff, so, well, we can go back. Um. Because he, uh, I for, it's like in the last game, you know, any, you can eat anything in the game for the most part, or give something for people to eat. So, I'm gonna grab one of these. Again. Sesame seed. But anyway, if we combine it with the eel, we get fertilized seeds. Yeah. What happens if we? Eat it? I'll bet these would grow fast. Oh, okay, well, he won't eat it. So, but anyway, that's how you make uh, fertilized seeds. And fertilized seeds will do. You can use it in four different spots throughout the game to get a unique Let's... result. So this is one of the results you can do. This is the probably the fastest way to escape the I island in the first place. Is doing this method. This is escape number one. So if you want to just get through the game and get to the next section, this is what you have to do. So let's put the sesame seeds in this wallet. I don't know if I actually clicked it before. Pretty shabby patch. And then if we use stuff on it. That won't help me break through those bricks. So what could break through the bricks? Let's find out. My little toys are ready to play. Apparently it's a thing we, it's a toy we have or something, I don't know. I've got my toys in place. Pretty shabby. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, what do you do with seeds? Well, you water them. Most excellent. What are you, Bill? Or Bill from Bill and Ted or whatever? All right, anyway. Let's go inside this place and see. Excellent. What cute spiders. I feel so comfortable down here. There's more garbage here than in the dump. What cute. I feel so comfortable down here. That's a lot of bricks. Yeah, it does seem very comfortable. I feel... Okay. What kind of architecture is that? Couldn't tell you. That must be Brandywine's portal potion. Brandywine? Oh, yeah. That's, uh... Well, we'll meet her eventually, so... Isle of Cats, here I come. All right. Voila! I did it. I wonder what I did. And you can close it up again. Yeah. But anyway, we won't leave it open. So what happens is it creates fabulous a, a portal potion. Hmm. I guess the portal potions only work at the portal launchings. Okay. Fabulous. Now, yeah, you need to uh, make this to leave the island. So I'm not going to, I mean, obviously I I'm not, I'm not going to do this uh, pathway, but I'm going to show you how to escape the island the first time. So you want to do, if you're trying to get all points, you want to do this first, obviously. Now, where do you use the potion on it? Well, it's over here. Yep. This area, the town arena is where you can use the potions. Let's go ahead and make a backup save here and let's escape this place. I think it's time to get off this stinking island. Still alive. Now to plot my revenge on those fools. Huh? What? Mildred, is that you? Okay, I'm not sure what that was about. But anyway, this takes us to the Isle of Cats in Chapter 2. However, we're not quite done with the island. So let's go ahead and drop this potion off here since we don't need it. But that's a way to leave if you want to do that. So let me grab this potion here. Okay, so we're going to need some more sesame seeds. Sesame seed. But we'll keep that in mind. I also, need, I also need another uh, eel. So let's go get one of those. I'm not going to activate it right immediately, but I want to have the eel be available. So. Oh, also you can do something with the voice of reason. Um, I will show I that off here in a nothing. second. Or maybe today, maybe um, not. We'll see. We'll see how much time passes. So. All right, let's go ahead and fish for another eel. Oops. Great. And All right, let me drop this to soldier off. I actually don't need him. So let's keep that. I wonder. Actually, let me see if I can get the. Well, I'll have to be using this quite a bit, but let me see if I can get this accident to occur. I like clap. Okay. There's a thing that'll happen if you do this multiple times. I think it only happens once. 
I don't think it could get to occur again. I don't want to press it to make it go too fast because if I show it off, it'll it'll go by so quick if I click the button. So. Okay, now I can click it. So we got the result. And we basically, it's a reference to the Fly movie with uh, Jeff Goldblum where he turns into Fly by using the teleporter. So nice touch there. All right, so let's skip the kid for now. And, uh, oh, he popped up in both areas, huh? All right, let's check what's with mess with the baths. So. Hey, mine. No. Oh, yeah, I already messed with them, so and he doesn't get a result What tremendous this. concentration. Yeah, I can't tickle him with that thing, so. All right. A rabbit plant. Beautiful fence. Beautiful. That's the bath building. I Oops. Karandians do have questionable taste. I think I clicked on this before, but. That's the bath building. I must admit, Karandia does have some unusual architecture. I need to get some magic. I'm a sitting duck. Yeah, out in the open here. So, all right, let's make another. Let's make another quick save here. Uh, before we enter. Apparently, Karandi is not. Thanks, King Brandon. Yeah, I think I put that Customers before, too. Customers are supposed to put a penny in the box. By the way, we'll never find a penny, so... That always works. Hey, you're Malcolm. You're not allowed in here. Oops. Everybody remembers you, stupid. You'll need a disguise! Alright, okay. Well, let's figure out how to get a disguise. Hopefully he doesn't tell anyone about us. Darn. You have brought Karandia enough pain. Once you are paroled, you must leave Karandia. Don't ever return, or we'll, or we'll do the same thing again. You are warned, Malcolm. I'm shaking, powerful leader of the royal mistakes, and I'll obey. Okay, so if you interact with a couple of characters and you don't put on the disguise, you'll be caught by uh, uh, Herman here, so. <laughs> Yeah, you get some points for... <laughs> Your Highness, this is no laughing matter. Yeah, apparently Brandon got a beard between games. <laughs> hmm. Excuse me. It's. I think they got the same voice actors for Malik and... Uh... Well, we can't stand around here all day. Get on with it, Constable Herman. Put all your stuff in that box. What's that dance you're doing? Just put your stuff in the box. And don't try to keep anything hidden in your palm. Hey, and Herman's from the last game. We turned him into a zombie and he could possibly kill Brandon with a saw, by the way. Where'd he get that box? It looks like one of my old toys. Okay, I've waited long enough. Let's go. And if you put your stuff in there, do I have to tell you? You're here to make doilies. If you just buckle down and make ten more to fill your quota, you would finally be eligible for parole. Now, one more time. Take the string and put it in the machine. This is Rowena, by the way. She'll be our guard for our settle while in the jail. Now, one another way to get out of uh, off the island is to escape prison multiple times until you get to a point where you can just leave the island. We're not just going to escape right now because there's a couple things I forgot to do. Well, technically the thing I did do didn't work. I think I didn't set it properly because um, you can actually trip Herman with a with a, uh, a log while he's chasing after you. But uh, I must uh, I guess it doesn't work if you put it in the machine. You have to set it. You're supposed to set it on the bluffs and he chips, trips over it while chasing after you. And he always comes about if you talk with uh, the guy at the... Um, bathhouse if you talk to uh, um, a couple other people which I'll show you eventually um, right now since we don't have since I didn't have the item in my inventory because you have to to escape you have to have a item in your 
active inventory, which means it's on my um, it's on my uh, mouse click switch here. So um, so when we get to this point, I'll have it in my inventory because Herman makes you put everything in that box. If you don't put the things in the box, then Herman will dump all your stuff in the dump. Uh, if you don't, because the box will be there when you finish your parole, basically. Take the string and put it in the machine. I'm innocent, I tell you. I've been framed. Hmm. I wonder if I can unlock this box. Sure can, but we can't right now. Hmm. Too far down to jump. Yeah. What big chains. What a lovely environment. Who knows where this doily goes? Doily? What are you talking about? I guess I need to put the string in the machine. Oh. These must be for the really bad prisoners. Oh, yeah. Take the okay, she just repeats herself, so... Okay, so, yeah, this is the string right here. Good! Now step on the foot pedal. I'm in... Oh. I guess I need to step on the pedal. It's, the game needs to tell you multiple times what to do, so... I guess I... I guess... I gotta see if you have any extra dialogue. I... See? That wasn't so hard. Now take the scissors and cut the doily loose. Alright, and, uh... Um... <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I forgot to mention that those are a couple of actual hands there. I wonder who's actually in the box. But anyway. I'm in a... Whoops. What the... I guess I need to cut the doily off. Yeah. I guess I... Okay, wait, wait, we need the scissors. You're doing great. Pick up the doily and put it in the slot. Okay. And yeah, we have to do this. Wonderful. Now you have only nine more doilies to make. But remember, that's the last time I'm going to tell you how. Okay, and if we had a nail, we could uh, uh, escape this place, but we'll do that later, so. I guess I need. And yeah, we, and the game wants us to do it nine more times, like 10 times, like, like legit, so. I guess I need. Luckily, we can just I click the button to go through at least some of it, but you still have to... I guess I so it speeds up the process I a little bit, so... So at least there's that, but yeah. I guess I uh, but anyway, I'm going to cut to when I do all that, because that's really re repetitive, and it's only funny the first time, so I'll be back in a second. I guess I... I guess I... Okay, you're eligible for parole. It's about time. Even though it was Here's your stuff. Now, get out of Karandia. Okay, it must be... Oh, no, it's when you escape when he dumps all your stuff in the garbage. But anyway, yeah, everything's here. The squirrel. And we get the scissors for free. Now that we do that, so if you didn't uh, couldn't think of the broken bottle situation, you can now just use scissors instead of the broken bottle. So either one works. So okay, so let me see if I can let me try the. Uh, I can't bear you. Oops. Ow. Hmm. That might trip somebody. There we go. Ha! Good idea. All right, let's go ahead and uh, bug Herman again so we can get that. You have to do two different things to... Uh... Actually, I think I need to... I also want to grab... Um... Looks like this it has... I forgot I actually do need to grab the uh, the toy soldier because you need him um, if you want to escape from Herman a second time. I forgot about that hmm. one. What? Uh, I don't know why I said that. We know that, we know that already. Ow. Okay, let me grab this, because, yeah, you need a, something sharp. I just no yeah, I guess I needed the game to strip, tell me it can trip someone. So, anyway, let's go talk to the bathhouse attendant again. And get ourselves caught. 
And you always, as far as I'm aware of, it's always every time you go to the bluff, after you've been seen and taken too much time, a hermit will grab you again. Hey, you're you're oops. Okay, and then you get kicked out. Everybody remember. Yeah, he's gonna. Yeah, need these guys. All right, cool. All right, let's go back to the bluff. Excellent. Wonderful. Let's get out of here. Fun and productive. That's what I like. Okay, so yeah, that's one way to escape Herman. Actually, before we leave this spot. Gotcha. <laughs> Is it my breath? Yeah, we can cut the uh, cut the um, flowers here and collect them. We need you them for something. Think too oh, grab the... I guess yeah, I guess technically I can leave the broken bottle. I don't need it anymore now that I've got the uh, scissors because I've already uh, messed with everyone. So. I suppose I should try to explain things to Catherine. She has to know I didn't kill her. All right, let me uh, cut the flower here because I need that. Gotcha. Okay, drop that there. Actually, I want to grab a couple of flowers just because I might accidentally um, maybe not get the dial. Actually, I might not only be able to make so many flowers. Okay, there we go. Gotcha. Where do the? I don't know. They ran. Well, there's nothing. No one else there. So. You. Oh, right. These are monkey. Uh, Sometimes there's a, gl a glitch. Uh, sometimes there's a glitch in the game where I can't access the inventory. Sometimes it's kind of weird. Out. I don't know if it's the emulation or if it's or if it's the program itself. So actually, I can. I only have to do this once. So let me actually. Let me just save it so that way. Um, that way, I can just show the different dialogue options. I would always pretend to trip over this rock when I came here with the queen. Catherine would always laugh. This must be Catherine's grave. Catherine was the gr late great queen and the uh, mother of Brandon. She was such a twit. It's a monkey jumper bush. William usually sat here during our graveyard picnics. He was the king, by the way. One of the late king's old political rivals. Ooh. Hmm. No squirrels here. This is Queen Catherine's grave. If you wish to speak with her, two flowers would be the polite gesture. No, oh, okay. Two flowers, huh? William loved to recite poetry to the Queen here. I remember when Brandon fell out of that tree and broke his arm. He had to have a splint on the arm for weeks. And he walked even more stiffly than usual. Ah, the good old days. Sometimes makes you wonder if Malcolm's truly evil or not if he's reminiscing. Otherwise, don't bother us. Oops. I would always pretend Cath Catherine, Catherine, okay. Catherine always was particular. Catherine. Okay, sorry, I clicked through that. He's basically just saying, "Don't bo don't bother us and uh, leave us alone." Um, but anyway, the clue to deal with the queen is you need to be in a good sense when talking to her, which means we need to be nice. However, we are not going to be nice in this case, just to get some unique dialogue from her. So let's uh, put the flowers on here. Let's see if this flower will awaken Catherine. Hmm. Almost. Yeah, you just need two flowers. Malcolm, how dare you show yourself to me again? How is it that such a brutal, evil murderer can still be free in Corandia? You should be rotting in the dungeon of dismay. Well, your son lets me off if I do ten doilies a day, so... Murderer! You have some nerve. I was hoping to apologize. How can you claim you didn't kill us? Okay, it wasn't the enchanted knife. It was me. 
Your hand was on the blade. I was helping the bad knife. Okay, so that's what happens if you're lying to Catherine while talking to her, so... So yeah, there uh, certain during certain situations you'll actually have different dialogue talking to people if you're Let's if you're hmm. either normal, lying, or or nice. I think I mentioned that before, but Malcolm, how dare you show yourself to me again? How is it that you should be Okay. Murderer! Check your facts. I didn't kill you or your husband. How can you claim you didn't kill us? It was the enchanted knife. Your hand was on the blade. I was trying to stop it, you idiot. Yeah, probably not. Not, not a good idea to be mean to uh, uh, someone who's dead in the in whatever. So yeah, that's not gonna work. So, and we actually don't have to do this. This is just more back stuff. So, but anyway, let's do it one more time. But let's actually be nice for a change. Let's see if this. Hmm. Malcolm, how is it that such a brutal you should... Okay, well, anyway, before we talk to her... <laughs> apparently you can tickle ghosts. Who knew? Murderer! I'm sorry to disturb you, but I need to prove my innocence. How can you play... The last thing I wanted was for you or William to be hurt. Oh, it, it was supposed to it was supposed to give me a uh, the solution. So for some reason, tickling her counts as an interaction. So I have to do it again. But that's fine. Let me get a let me get a flower to appear again. So there we go. But luckily, I can just skip through the dialogue until the third gotcha. option because I wanted to get the uh, uh, Let's the amuse hmm. points option for on Catherine. So. Your hand was on the blade. I was honestly trying to stop it. William knows. Why don't you ask his ghost? Only a royal seance can bring his ghost back now. Hmm. How can you play the la Okay, so basically we need to do seance. Only so. a royal hmm. Okay. This must Catherine, Catherine. But anyway, so we need to make a seance to uh, to uh, um, prove our innocence, but we can't do that on island as is. So, okay. So now that we've done that. Uh, oh, I. That's. Dog. You have brought Corandia enough pain. Once you are paroled, you must leave Carandia. Don't ever return, or we'll do the same thing again. As if I want to stay around you losers anyway. Okay. Well, we can't stand around here all day. Get on with it, Constable Herman. Put all your step. Okay, so there is some interaction you can have with Brandon and, and Malik before they okay, talk to you when I've you get caught. Long enough. When you Let's get caught go. the first time, um, uh, but I I didn't get to show that off because uh, they I'll have to reload an old file just to maybe show what oh, they say when you get caught the first time. You again. Okay, and then get to work. I hope I'm doing it right. I'm in. Keep busy, jailbird. Haste makes waste, they say. Shut up. Chatty, aren't you? I'm working, I'm working. Keep busy. Okay. Haste makes Shut Hmm. Quit poking. This is not a toy. Okay, wait, wait. So I have to do the doily thing again. So I'll be right back. After, actually, I think she, I wonder if she leaves after I do this. Let me see. I guess I. Okay, yeah, she leaves after the first one, so, but no extra dialogue. So, all right, I'm going to do it again. I'll be right back. 
Okay, I decided just to open up an old, old uh, file, uh, the old file from before. So to get past Herman the second time, I need to um, have something sharp in my inventory. So I need to have hmm. it. I have an idea. Excellent. Wonderful. Let's get out of here. Fun and productive. That's what I like. Okay, so that's how you beat Herman the two times that you have to have something sharp in your inventory when you uh, do it that time. So, <clears throat> okay. So before we call it a, I'm just naming it random stuff for no reason. So. You can't get loose now. Yeah, like the third the third time he gets away using magic. So, oh well. You have brought Karandia enough pain. Once you are paroled, you must leave. Don't ever return. Do the same. You got. Okay. Well, put all your. You are not going anywhere. What an important job you have, Herman. No talking. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a. Uh, okay, I I've waited. A, I have a non-bent nail, so. But luckily, to get caught, you just have to. Um, you oh. just have to uh, uh, interact with the bath attendant or another couple people to do that. So, all right. Um, do you want to call it an episode? I guess. Yeah, I guess I will. We've shown quite a bit, so uh, I'll uh, I'll escape from jail again, and uh, I'll see you on the other side, viewers. But what else can we do to try and escape the island? Perhaps make some toys. Some fish, fertilize more seasoning, seasoned seeds, perhaps meet an old friend from a previous game. We'll find it next time in the next episode of Legend of Kyrandia, Book 3, Malcolm's Revenge. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.